Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're down at Alexander's Teesside at the Alfa Romeo garage and we've got this lovely Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifolio. Now, you've probably heard about the Quadrifolio. There's been a lot of content on it over the past few years since it came out. It's a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 developed with Ferrari that makes 510 horsepower. This thing's an absolute weapon and today we're going to be looking around it. So if you know about the Alfa Romeo Giulia, you'll know that the Quadrifoglio sits right at the top of the range and it's about 65,000 pounds. So this is the most performance orientated car that the Giulia can be. Um, as I say, it's a 510 horsepower twin turbo V6. Gives you a 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 191 miles an hour. Now this thing really is performance orientated and it's literally got 50-50 weight distribution, which definitely sets it apart from some of its rivals, which don't always have that 50-50 weight distribution and obviously that's pretty crucial for handling characteristics. So the main rivals of the Giulia Quadrifoglio are the F80 M3 and the W205 AMG C63. And the F80 M3 has 425 horsepower, so it's a bit down on power and it doesn't quite have the same weight distribution. It's also a little bit heavier with the Giulia being 1525 kilos. Um, so there is a slight, slight saving to have, it's about 60,000 pounds for the F80 M3. Now the W205 C63 has 510 horsepower, but it's much more expensive at around 77,000 pounds in the UK. And it's also a fair bit heavier, it's over 1700 kilos. So you can sort of see where the Julia sits with its competition, but there are quite significant differences between them. And there's probably a reason why many people would choose the Julia. I mean, it's set it apart. Um, it's quite different to a lot of the German rivals and it really sets a new standard for Alfa Romeo as well. So moving on to the interior of the Giulia QV, it is really a nice place to be. As I said before, this car is really driver focused and you can see that as soon as you come in the interior. You've got these really nice seats, very comfortable, but very heavily bolstered on the sides as well. It really feels like you're in the right position and the driving position's great. Quite similar to a lot of older BMWs, you've got things angled towards you. So the infotainment's directed directly towards me. We've got some nice clear analog dials and a nice clean steering wheel as well. We've also got these aluminium paddle shifters behind the wheel, which feel fantastic. Um, and it's just a really nice place to be. There's nice materials in here. There's not too many cheaper plastics, to be honest. That's one of the downfalls of the new Julia. The materials aren't great on the whole compared to a lot of the German cars, but you've got to think this is a real comeback for Alfa Romeo. They haven't got all the cash that German manufacturers do. So there's obviously going to be cost cutting in place, uh, but overall the leather feels really nice. We've got some nice Alcantara on the seats and overall it just feels like a really nice place to be. So as I mentioned at the start, the 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 in this car is co-developed with Ferrari. And it's essentially the Ferrari V8 that you see in a lot of modern uh, Ferraris, such as the Roma, the California T, even the 488. It's that 3.9 litre V8 with two cylinders locked off essentially, and it's a hot V engine with turbos inside the V. So it's a really powerful engine. We've got about 510 horsepower, 443 foot-pounds of torque. And I mean, that's pretty impressive from a 2.9 litre V6. Um, but it, it just offers something a little bit different, doesn't it? So we're used to, in the C63, a big V8. In the M3, we've got an inline six. It's nice to see a V6 in this. It just offers some sort of difference to the other two. There's no denying that the looks of the Giulia Quadrifoglio are just absolutely incredible. It's got to be one of the most aggressive looking executive saloons we've seen in a long time. We've got this really nice carbon wing on the back. We've got a huge diffuser, these quad tailpipes, as well as really aggressive wheel arches and lots of um, aero pieces as well. So it just looks absolutely fantastic and certainly gives this thing road presence, there's no denying there. So there's a lot of carbon fiber on the Julia Quadrifoglio as well. We've got really nice carbon skirts down here and it just kind of gives that really performance look. Um, yeah, I really like the look of that. So you can also see we've got these really nice 19 inch wheels and these beautiful yellow calipers that really make it stand out. And it's kind of a tie back to the classic Alfa Romeo heritage as well. It's just a really nice design feature that you don't really see too much. The Italians certainly aren't afraid to make their cars stand out, there's no doubt about that. So there's no denying the Giulia Quadrifoglio and the Giulia in general have been a great comeback for Alfa Romeo. Now with the Giulia Quadrifoglio GTA on the horizon with 540 horsepower and 100 kilos of weight reduction, it's going to be interesting to see what that does. It's going to be comparable to things like the M4 GTS and I suppose older AMG Black Series models. Saying that though, it's going to be a lot more expensive than the normal Giulia, around £150,000. So I'm not sure quite how well that will go down yet, but I'm sure we'll see. And I'm sure there's no doubt it's going to be a fantastic car, just like the Julia is. 
Okay, so that's it for this video. It's been fantastic to look around the Julia Quadrifoglio a bit closer and uh, just kind of see what it's like. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.